Welcome to this hellhole. <laughs> I guess we'll call. I guess we'll call it maids. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Let's call it maids in America. <laughs> maids in America. <laughs> All right. So, how about we introduce our three maids, and then we'll introduce our mistress. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll just go right down the line. We'll start with Ian. Oh, man. Um, uh, how do you want to introduce him? Um, my maid's name is Karoshi, which technically means in Japanese, it's a medical term. It means that you've been worked to death. Um, they actually have it on insurance forms and stuff over there. Take out. But I guess what you say, she is a cool boyish maid. Maid. She, she looks like Christy off of Dead or Alive. Probably talks really masculine and brusque. She has fingerless leather gloves, which goes really well with a maid's outfit. Uh, she got short white hair that covers one eye at all times. Even though her eyes are pretty sparkling blue. White, by the way, amongst Japanese cultures usually signifies death and mourning, hence the white hair. And her killer instincts and tendencies towards violence. And... All right. Then let's go down to Grant. Okay. Uh, my maid's name is uh, Ren. Um, she is dead. She is a ghost sent here by a secret organization to infiltrate the, the mistress's household. Um, it's also important to note she is also blind. So she doesn't really know where she is most of the time. It has no way of actually knowing. She's been able to hide the fact that she's blind by the incredibly cool-looking sunglasses she wears at all times. Um, she also has a really mean right hook, so don't fuck with her. Um, my maid's name is Sujata. Uh, Sujata means origin. Um, she, her clothes are nice and flowing it's a nice long a flowing silk uh, gown it's indigo in color um sujata's eyes are soft and creamy um and you know uh, she can she can hold your gaze for sure and uh, she has the she has the yeah, most uh, uh golden hair that you've seen uh, that too like her uh, uh, indigo dresses, long and flowing. I'd like to see her try and hold my gaze. <laughs> you should also probably go over your special qualities, because those are important, especially for, Su for Sujata. Hey, uh, sorry. Uh, hey, Ian. Uh, a lot of static from your end. Uh, sorry, what was that, Flora? You should probably go over your special qualities as well. Oh, they're sure. important. Sure. Especially for Sujata. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, uh, and so, like, over her dress, she also has this, like, uh, a uniform made of, like, armor. It's, like, spikes and uh, uh, it's, like, it's completely spiked everywhere and uh, it's kind of like solid, pretty uh, strong armor. And she also is a vampire, so when she smiles, you can clearly see, see her teeth. Um, and she's uh, 666 years of age. Uh. 
All righty. So, as cowboys settle themselves around their humble homes and into little villages, some preferred to move west and seek fortune. As was the story of the Holiday family, who moved out and struck gold. And with that newfound fortune, towns sprung up wherever a Holiday Ranch could be found, filled with all kinds of folks, deputies, cowboys, highwaymen, and most importantly, the Holiday family and their maids. The story today is about these maids, as the Empress, Diana Holiday is informed that if she doesn't marry soon, her father will cut her off from the family fortune, and she looks to her maids for options. She only has a few more days, and she will have the announcement at her upcoming party. Who will gain the mistress of the fiction? The mistress is about 30 years old but has kept her imagination about her. She's a masochist, so she enjoys seeing other people get hurt. And she is an evil emperor. Her eyes are beige and her hair is green. Her power comes from her blood ties with her father and her assets because of all of her money. So, <clears throat> Diana calls you all out into the entrance hall at the beginning of the day, and she holds out a, a rolled up piece of paper. <sighs> Today, I will be having an announcement. It will be during the masquerade, but before we can have the masquerade, things need to be done. And she hands the scroll to Zujata. And on it are, is everything that needs to be done. So what needs to be done? Red asks. She cannot see us the scroll. Uh, Sujata says, uh, we, have to, we have to do a lot of things. A lot of things we need to do. Uh, we need to set the tables. We need to water the garden. Organize the pantry make food for the party, feed the animals, sweep the mansion, clean the outhouse, many, many more. Diana goes, yes, and I expect it to be done before the party starts. I'll be around. And she walks off into the dining room. You got it, I say, not really realizing she's God. Sujata says right. she's already gone, Rin, and we need Shit. to do it this way. Right. Let's go. <laughs> Just right through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it starts to walk and float outside. All right, it's turned over to you to finish things that are on this list. Okay. You can do them in any order, it doesn't really matter. I'll go feed the animals since I'm already outside. Uh, uh, I'll go, I'll start uh, sweeping the man, the mansion? Yeah, no, I'll organize the pantry. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. And Kuroshi will be your plan. Kuroshi will be very short and curt as she's being told what to do yet again. Um, you said for infiltrators we have till what? The end of the game to really do anything? At the end of the game, the person with the highest favor will be married to the Empress. And can really do whatever they want after that. It's a very progressive Old West. <laughs> yep. All of you maids have come down with a serious case of the homo sex. Well, I want to make sure my uh, my own assets are in order, so I'm just going to be... Sh Where's, which way's the mine? 
gonna, I can't make no sense. Yeah, just cut on out. If she has like a little candy dish or something, grab a little piece of hard candy. And just not say a word, just pop the hard candy in and walk on out and start strutting towards the mine. I want to make sure the mine's locked. Give me, give me a chance to pull out my bazooka and check it and stash it back. Okay. But then we'll start with Rin as Rin wanders out towards the stables. Yep. Rin, uh... <laughs> Diana has a very specific motto, and her motto is that, why do it normally when I have enough money that I can do it some other way? So she doesn't have any horses or cows. She has ostriches. Oh. Okay. Ostrich burgers are pretty tasty, so... There are about 50 ostriches just kind of wandering around out in this, out in this like fenced off area. I'll uh, float to where I think the fence is and uh, go through it. All right. Float amongst the ostriches. The ostriches give you strange looks. Not that you would know. Right. Completely oblivious of this, I'm going to search for the feeder. Uh, how about you roll? Let's see. Let's have you roll. Well, you can either roll skill or cunning. Oh, cunning. Damn. You are able to successfully find the feeder. Yes. It is empty. Why am I not hearing any pitter patter of food? Crap. <laughs> All right. Where's the food normally? I gotta find that. Yeah, go ahead and roll coming again. All right. Six. <laughs> So you move around the entire the entire inner stable and as you're pressing around looking for the food, you hear a soft creak. I turn towards it. Who's that? Well it's, it's in front of you. You oh. push something open. Okay. I rummage inside. There is no inside. You've pushed open outside. Ah. Hmm. You hear a lot of commotion as several ostriches start to leave. I'm gonna just like keep focusing on the the little door, seeing um ah! what exactly it is and what I've just done. Try to just get a little mental picture as the ostriches continue to leave. So you, you do indeed find out that it is a gate as the ostriches continue their way out. Well, I'm sure they'll find food out there, so mission accomplished? Success. Yes. Um, she's, going to, she's going to meander her way uh, back to the house since they're all gone. Diana sees you about to go through the dining room wall as she walks outside and she calls you over and she goes, Rin, darling. Hello. Where are all my ostriches? I think they're out to lunch. And she puts a uh, hand on the bridge of her nose and she goes, You were supposed to feed them. Yes. Not... You uh, just let them all out. Well, I thought this would be more efficient because, you know, they could run around, eat dirt, grubs, whatever ostriches eat, and then they'll I'll come have, back. I'll have someone else go out and round up the ostriches. You, go inside. Okay. She starts floating the exact opposite way she's supposed to. 
<laughs> Wrong. Right. I knew that. I knew that. I, I was testing you. All righty. You just draw a line through the list where it says feed the animals. You put an R in between the F and the E. Freed the animal. Freed the animals. <laughs> <laughs> Success. <laughs> That's how it works, right? <laughs> All right, Zypher, you're organizing the pantry. In which way are you organizing it? Uh, bottom to top, uh, keeping all the heavy stuff at the bottom, and all the lighter Remember, stuff. Vampire vampires have OCD when it comes to numerics and counting yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah, yep. So it's like all the heavy stuff all lined up at the bottom, and then the lighter stuff, the lighter stuff. <laughs> That's a simple task. I'm not even going to make you roll for it. Okay. But as you finish up, Diana meets you in the kitchen to look over your work. And she nods. And she goes, very good. Uh, that's what I expect. You can roll 1d6 and gain that much favor. Awesome. Continue with your work, and she walks off. Yes, madam. Kuroshi, how are you doing at the abandoned... How am I doing? I don't know. You tell me how. <laughs> I'm walking there. Am I there? <laughs> well, I mean, you are, and it's pretty much all locked up. Oh, it is? Okay, I'll give it a well, healthy... Other than a, other than a few locks that have come undone or rusted apart. Rusted apart? That's not cool. Uh, Try to salvage what I can off the rusted pieces, like put two links together and try to stick something in them. Give the rest a healthy tug, you know, all, all brushing. <laughs> Make sure everything's roll... locked up. It's heavy roll cunning. Or fixing the locks. Try to jury rig and make note. Yeah. You are able to. It is actually very easy. And then athletics to test the locks. They're they're tested all right. Test it the shit out them. <laughs> Hell yeah. You couldn't have tested those locks any better. They're definitely locked, and they're locked. That bitch of a mistress will be pleased. <laughs> and then do you head inside, or are you just going to stand out here at the abandoned mine? Because that's uh -huh. totally an option. Trying to remember what was on the list. It might be close by. Uh, I guess I could go out and sweep the beach. Give me some alone time. Start making my way towards the beach. Oh, clean the beach. Sorry, I thought I was sweep the beach. <laughs> Same thing. You gotta sweep that beach. Gotta get all the sand off of it. Oh, tempting to take the maid's uniform off. <laughs> <laughs> I am at the beach, and Christy do, Christy does look good in a bikini, so. While I'm cleaning, try to find a pretty shell or a starfish or something. Might, might impress Mistress Holiday. Let's roll skill to clean the beach. Yeah, uh, a broom and a damn beach. Who sweeps a beach? Gotta sweep that beach. Gotta make it only rocks. Kuroshi sweeps a beach. <laughs> you come out there with the broom and you're like, gotta sweep the beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and you do indeed sweep the beach. Not very well, mind you, but you sweep the beach. Leave all the broken beer bottles and jellyfish <laughs> and other shit, but I've swept the beach. Oh. Yes, oh. you did indeed. <laughs> Let's roll luck to see what you find out here on the beach to bring back. Oh, no. Wow. As you're sweeping the beach, you you do. You lean down and you pick up a clam and you open it up and there's a pearl inside. Oh, shit. Hopefully I don't think it's the hard candy. <laughs> Whatever. It'll just become a bigger pearl. <laughs> Don't throw it out the little. <laughs> All I can picture in my head is handing this to Mistress Holiday, her taking it, giving me a hug, and me stabbing her in the back. Yep. I'll tuck it underneath the palm of my fingerless gloves on the left hand, tuck it under, finish up, right. st start making my way back to the house, trying to remember what was on the list. We can cut somebody else while I'm traveling. Yep. Let's go back to Rin. What is your next task that you attempt to do as a blind ghost? Well, glad you asked. <laughs> I am going to sweep the mansion. All right. Have you figured out where the utility closet is? Probably. It's probably rote memory by now. All right. Then you are able to get to the utility closet. Excellent. I reach in for a broom. Let's roll luck to see if you can grab a broom. Oh, jeez. You don't know what brooms feel like. They feel like everything else. You have zero luck. I'm just surprised you can yeah. grab anything. Oh, if you have zero luck, then you just can't roll it. Everything that you roll will be zero. Oh. So you have failed to grab a broom. Okay, what did I grab instead? You're the unluckiest ghost. <laughs> you, you grab, I'm blind. You grab a you, you grab a rake. Okay. I'm gonna like uh, bang against the floor to see um, if it <laughs> is broomy enough. I mean, banging a brake against the floor would probably sound about the same as banging a broom against the floor. <laughs> she okay. thinks she's sweeping, but it ain't nothing but a mop handle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I don't. Okay, so I would assume I'd hear, like, bristles or something instead of, you know, rake. But all I right. Mean, what do you want to roll to try to figure out if it's a rake? Um, Can you give about... me a good reason to roll a different stat that isn't luck? Cutting? Like, I could just feel around, feel it eventually and see if it's okay, a rake. They're all really. cunning. Puts this many rakes in the utility closet. So figure it out. A, yeah, that is, that's a rake. Yep, that's a rake. You know what? You know I think what? we got our, I think we got our tools mixed up. I was supposed to have that rake at the beach, huh? <laughs> yeah, this isn't even a broom in this closet. <laughs> You know what? I don't know why I'm doing all this tool nonsense. I have a better idea. I'm just going to use my body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to press well, my... On the ground. Yes, and, and just run over. Just run across the floor. Gathering it all up. I mean... I have a dirty I don't uniform. Know. You can either roll athletics or skill. I'm going to roll athletics. Okay. But you are going to dirty part of your maid outfit. Six. Yeah. You dirty more than just one part of your maid outfit. It's cleaned, but you've also dirtied your skirt, your blouse, and your apron. I don't suppose I could go full transparent so all the dirt falls off. No. Oh. How does it even work? Well, You're just a dirty ghost. All right. Well, that's fine. Because I'll water the garden next. All right. 
<laughs> Let's go to Zypher and see what Zypher does next. Uh, let, I'm I'm going to uh, light the fire pit. Alrighty. So all of you meet at the garden, at the garden entrance. As oh man, it's so nice to be and, outside and away from as, all those dumb bimbos. I as, say very loudly. <laughs> Not as really. Rin attempts to use a hose. <laughs> okay. I think Rin just called you dumb bimbos. Yes. Not, not really that alter. <laughs> and Sujata's like, who are you calling dumb bimbos, Rin? Ah! I turned the hose towards you. <laughs> Am I completely drenched? Ah, oh, shit! No, Rin. You no, can make no. rolls. You can make. Uh, you can make rolls for that. Yeah, I want to try and avoid that. <laughs> How are you going to avoid it? And what stat are you going to use to try to point the hose at uh, Sajata? Um, I'm going to use my lightning fast reflexes, so I assume athletics. I don't know. Sure. And yeah, and I'm, I'm going, of, what are you going to do? Also athletics? Yeah, I'm also going to do athletics to try and get out of the way. Some All right. Oh. So because of this, <clears throat> so you, because of PvP, the way that it works is the person with the higher number who rolled wins, and the person who loses takes that number divided by the stat that they used, and they take that in stress. I see. Uh, so 10 divided by 2, okay. No, you take the number that the other person rolled divided by your stat. Oh, okay, 15. Then. So then we round up or round down? It's always round down. Round, round down? Yes. Okay. So that's 8? Eight, eight. So, 7. Seven. Right. I just walked up, walked up to him calling me a bimbo, spinning it around, wet and hurt. Uh, Kuroshi's going to try to come up with a idea. He's just going to go try to reach up and go, no, Rin. No, like, no, Rin, no, Rin. You're doing it wrong. Hand me that hose. Mrs. Holiday wanted you out back. Something about cleaning the outhouse. Oh, crap. <laughs> I was going to get cleaned. I'll anyways, take over have, here. Anyways, have you seen Sujata? Uh, she's she's about. I'm, I'm still like spraying her with the hose, not realizing. It. I'm, here, I'm waterboarding her. <laughs> I'm here, Rin. Stop it! Oh. Oh, I tilt the hose down. I'd come and beat your ass, but I can't cross running water. Really. <laughs> 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 It's a vampire, man. No, it's a vampire. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try to grab the hose. Give me the hose, Ren. Joe, are you gonna give over the hose? No, uh, no, it's my hose. <laughs> All right, um, I'm go. gonna do. I'm gonna. If she gets close to me, I'm gonna use my power, um, weapon from nowhere. How are you gonna know if she gets close to you? Um, I'm just gonna assume. <laughs> Context okay. clues. Okay, so you just pull out your weapon. Um, which is my fist. Pull out your hands, unexpectedly. <laughs> it literally, just sucker puncher. Are you gonna take that, or are you gonna punch her back, <laughs> or just try to stop her? Or I don't think she can because it's weapon from nowhere. Is that how the power works? Yeah, but that <laughs> she also has a weapon from nowhere. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mine's a bazooka, though. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh. So what do we do? Do we roll? I mean, if you're gonna if. If you're gonna spin around and try to hit me, I, I would I would try to dodge out of the way. <laughs> I would try I to mean, revert to athletics. I would do like the backflip, the acro ballet ballerina back acrobatic backflip. 
Let me reread weapon from nowhere. Hold on. Well, it lets you attack once in the surprise round where the other person yeah. can't attack. So, I mean, <clears throat> dodging the weapon from nowhere attack would probably not be possible because it's so unexpected for her to just randomly punch you in the face. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, if, they have, if you want to go cartoon manga stuff, yeah, she's going to spin around and, like, go all ghosty on me. And, hey! I'm definitely, I'm going to do a backflip back, and as I do, I'm going to reach underneath the half apron and pull a bazooka out my twat. And friggin'. <laughs> she, I know she's a ghost. I can't kill her again. All right, because you're both using a weapon from nowhere, just. Uh... I mean, both of you would roll athletics? Yeah, if it's physical, I would think this would be what it yeah. was. Ooh. Roll oh force me, that's amazing. Yeah. But also, it's one stress. <laughs> As she punches you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Send a friggin' rocket blaring off into the sky. <laughs> I don't even notice the rocket. I'm like, look. You can clean the house. I got the garden. I'm already kind of in a bad spot because I let out all the ostriches, so I really need Oh, uh, wait a second. Rin is dirty. That's a three. Oh. Which means that, yeah. <laughs> now, Kuroji does this backflip. And as in the midst of the backflip, also pulls out a bazooka. And as the bazooka goes off beneath you, Rin, your entire outfit becomes much dirtier than it was before. <laughs> Do I take damage? You take, I think, one. Four, four one, divided by three. three. Yeah, you take one stress. <laughs> Ow! I guess. What what hit me? How do I look? Am I bleeding? Zyver, on the upper hand, the fire bit is lit now. <laughs> <laughs> so Jata's gonna be like jumping around the fire like yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. It's lit. It's cross lit, it off the wet cross it off the water log list. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right. I'm going to spray myself with the water hose. All right. You're wet now. Am I clean, though? Yes. Excellent. Just Karoshi will just let out a grunt. It's like, fine, play with your hose. <laughs> I will. Just don't forget to do that outhouse like Mrs. Holiday said. I will. Go to the kitchen where there's lots of knives and start to make food for the party. Alrighty. Ren, you're going to try to water the garden. Yes. What do you want to try to do? You can't really use... Because uh, you're blind, I would say luck, but you can't luck. I'm going to just feel around for flowers, <laughs> for like soft petals, and then I'm just going to spray it with water. That's the way that you garden. Why not? Let's have you roll skill. Okay. Six. Eh, good enough. It's not great, but I it's good enough. Ma I rolled max. Yeah, but it's not great, but it's good enough. <laughs> Yay. The Empress walks into the kitchen and looks around and goes, Oh, so it's you making the food then? Uh, yeah. I, I can't talk like a chick, man. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, you don't have to. Like, I can't either. Mm, I see. Wow. I'm 
like, hey, hello. Like, yes. Oh, my. Yes, Mrs. I was thinking, oh, I was thinking of a cuttlefish and asparagus. <laughs> oh, wait, that was South Park. Oh, <laughs> Yes, mistress, I was thinking of a, a lovely dragon roll sushi. She goes, oh, by the way, I found you something at the beach. I reach under my palm and pull out one of the pearl, the pearl that I found. She takes it and she goes, oh, this is lovely. Thank you very much. I, I haven't seen what you've done down at the beach, but I'm sure it's lovely. I just bow. So, you do you have any? Do you have any? Do you have any requests? While well, I'm playing with the knives, just picturing it's her that I'm all cutting up and shit. Once you're done with this, there's a bit of an issue. I believe Rin let out all of my ostriches. You should see what she's done with the garden, mistress. Oh, I will. I'll go out and look right now. But in the meantime. Once you're finished with this, could you please deal with the ostrich problem? What out the fuck, you know, fuck you, side. You know, uh. <laughs> but of course, mistress, it would be an honor. You're gonna roll 2d6 favor. The Empress walks out onto the porch, and she looks down at her. It's very mediocrely watered. It's watered. And she sighs, and she goes, it's good enough. Oh, mistress, hi, you're here. She spin and hit her with a <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not this time. <laughs> Actually, I would say roll luck. But you're literally the most unluckiest <laughs> person ever. I mean, I can learn from a mistake. So I'm gonna assume, like, <laughs> oh, the whole fiasco with Shichata maybe keep the hose down, and I'm not alarmed at the moment. Um. So yeah. Sujata will Hi. will scream across, saying, "Watch out, uh, mistress!" to try and gain favor. And uh, also stop her from being wet. Uh, oh. Mistress, <laughs> Diana mistress. looks over at you and she goes, Watch out for what? Mistress, look, look, look. Watch this. Um, Ren's gonna put some of the water in her mouth. She's gonna like lift up her leg and just like spit it out. I'm a fountain. Huh? Huh? Get back to work. Okay. Sujata, I see that you've lit the fire. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And Sujata, I have spray that. water in the. I spray water in the direction of the fire. Sujata, are you going to try to stop the water? Uh, no. Oh shit! I just realized that I can't do one of my powers on on Rin. Uh, so I have these glasses. Are they like magical? Can I use them to like stop the water? No, nah, they're just glasses. Uh, they just add to your character. Then in that case, I'm going to like stand in front of the water to try and protect the fire. All right, then. I'll say that's Rin's uh, cunning versus... Sujata's athletics. Cool. Oh no. Ow. Sujata, you take two stress as the water hits the fire and it goes out. Oh, okay. Diana gives uh, Rin a very strange look and she goes, What are you doing? Oh, sorry. Was that not a plant? I don't believe fire is a plant, no. No, it's not. I'll go ahead and set that for you. I'm so sorry. I will go and set the fire. <laughs> <laughs> this time, you also gain 1d6 favor. 
okay. Oh, God. Why are just such a loser? <laughs> I've done nothing right. Hey, I got a six. <laughs> the worst maid in the world. And he goes, come on, Sujata, let's come inside. There are plenty of things left to do. And Sujata will follow the mistress. And, and yes, mistress. Rin, have you ever made a fire? Rin, have you ever set a fire before? No. No, she's going to just literally lay on the ashes and just feel sorry for herself. <laughs> a while <laughs> okay well you're dirty again sure <laughs> am <laughs> where i belong i'm just like taking close of it and just pouring them on myself i deserve okay. this i deserve this i mean do you want to roll to do that what do i need to roll for that no not you kuro she just sent me a whisper oh. you can roll skill to do that Success. You've done it. <sighs> Diana turns around and looks at you, Sujata, and goes... So, what else is left on the list? Uh, let me look, mistress. Just give me a minute. And she says, uh, uh, to decide what's going to be put on the table and what's to be carried around and who carries them around. Very good. Uh, perhaps getting all three of you maids together would be a good idea. Uh, yes, I, I will go get Rin. I'll be right back. And Sujata is going to go and tell Rin, The mistress would like to see you, Rin. We should get back into the house. Okay. Um, I'll spray myself with water walk. once again real quick. And then <laughs> As you walk out, you see... <laughs> see Rin just lying in the fire. <laughs> and I'll be like, What are you doing, Rin? That's the... That's ashes. Get out of there. Leave me. The mistress wants you inside the mansion. There is work uh, to be done. Right. Okay. And like, I will try... Sujata, I have a question for you. Yes. Do you like me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure you have... Sprayed water all over me. You have put out the fire. I bet. Self defense. Self defense. <laughs> Misunderstanding. Yes. I'm doing the best I can. Yes, I guess you are. I guess you are. We must go in. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> what is your question again? What is your Do question? Do you like me? Uh. No, not yet. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm just gonna pick myself up. I just. Yeah. Grin sprays herself with water and just floats <laughs> through the walls. Interest hall. Do I need to roll for preparing the food? Or was that the roll? That's what this skill roll was. Rin, stop. Okay. Stop. Come back here. No, she did stop. She just stopped like halfway uh, through the door. While y'all are in the hall, I'll eventually ramble out. Having finished, I'll come out and I'll see you all there. And I'll go, oh, mistress, I have finished preparing the food. And I'll have a little tray. And it looks like a mixture of sushi and sashimi. I go, I, I have a little sample for us if you don't mind. And have like a piece of sashimi and offer it to the mistress. Of course. I'm mm. gonna have you. I'm gonna have Kuroshi roll luck. Mm. She eats it and she goes, That's delicious. Mm. And I'll pick up a piece off the tray myself and look at her for approval first. 
and then she lets me out eat it. And she goes, nods, and she, j and she looks to the other two, and she goes, Perhaps you would like samples as well. Hold the tray out, and I'll go, and I'll look at them, and I'm assuming we're smart enough to know this about us is different. I'll go, perhaps if you want a little sauce, and I'll hold up one, and it's blood, blood red. Hint, hint, Sujata. And another one's like a ghostly green, looks like wasabi, but it's like, you know, maybe ectoplasm. <laughs> it's been pawing at the ground, pawing in the air, assuming that the tray is in front of her. Diana takes your hand and leads you over to the... I'll ah. squirt, a, squirt a little sauce on for him, that vampire can enjoy some blood, blood sushi, and a little ghostly ectoplasmic sushi. Yeah, Sujata so will will can't resist the, the blood splattered sushi, so she's gonna dig in. Like yeah. my fingers and I'll just like ah, not bad if I have to say so myself. <laughs> what do you two girls think? <laughs> well, I'm gonna have both of them roll luck. Ruin you fail. Go. Cool. <laughs> Great. Uh, maybe Kurushi would, uh, like to explain, perhaps out of character, as the- Fucking poison dust! As the mistress's, <laughs> uh, stomach makes a very unpleasant noise, and she goes, I will- I will be back. <laughs> oh shit, she got hit with it too. <laughs> <laughs> but I private messaged you! <laughs> yeah, that's what the luck roll was. <laughs> I must have had some on my fingers. <laughs> damn, damn you, fingerless gloves! <laughs> so what happens to us, voice of God? It's gonna, be, it's, gonna, it's gonna be chronic diarrhea. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> as soon as Red feels it, she makes her way towards the outhouse. Goes through the wall. <laughs> You're gonna sit, <laughs> sit in her lap and shoot her lap. Maybe, unless she says something. As you slide through the wall, you are met by a hand that takes you out. That's weird. That doesn't normally happen. I'm gonna try again. Does she say you anything? Hear, you hear, occupied. Oh. Sorry, mistress. I'm gonna go to the garden. <laughs> Just, I'm just gonna hand the tray to Sujata and I go, be a dear and put that in the kitchen for me and start making my way out to round up the ostrich. Yeah, Sujata's gonna okay. keep it in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, or did, did we not have chronic diarrhea or was that just that? <laughs> no, I think I rolled. Sujata luck. rolled a high end of luck. You don't have any luck. Sujata, yeah, Sujata must have must have ate the mistresses, and the mistresses got Sujatas by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I have specific music for rounding up the ostriches. It's, I have it titled "It All Goes Wrong." There are a lot of ostriches out here. And none Ostrich of them want to be wrangled. Ostriches are a lot like pack animals, though. They run in herds and flocks. My goal, yeah. my, my objective is to try and leap onto the back of one with my athletics and then use it to herd the others back towards the corral. All right, roll athletics. Go look at it and do the knuckle cracking, tugging the, the, the gloves up, and just go right. We get, we get this like the the like Mexican standoff where you you stand with your arms out and the ostrich yeah the ostrich yeah, the there and they're looking at you. Ostrich, ostrich is pecking the ground and it pops its head up, <laughs> looks at me and it goes to me like the eye shot the Sergio fucking eye shot then back to the ostrich, <laughs> then back to me, <laughs> then back to it. <laughs> Let's do this. Start running at it. <laughs> Leap up in the air. You successfully land on the ostrich. The ostrich begins to freak out. 
Start kicking Ostrich it. Ostrich just starts running in circles. Start trying to guide it. You can roll affection. Nah, I'm not very affectionate. <laughs> or you could just punch it and roll athletics again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I could try to dominate it, I guess. Yeah, it would be yeah, it would be whatever you would call it. it would be athletics. I could try to dominate it and use its momentum with my own body weight to shift it, or I whatever could use skill do. or cunning. Yeah, I'll try to do athletics. Use my body to dominate it. Alrighty. Put those those nutcracker legs to work. Uh, oh god. There's <laughs> ostriches. It's a lot rowdier than you thought it was. Yeah, it's not a horse. <laughs> As it leaps one of the gates. <laughs> it's, it is back in the pen, but it probably won't stay back in the pen for very long. Mm. Well, how, how does she have all 50 of them in there to begin with? I don't know. That's not her problem. She just owns the ostriches. The other ones who take care of them. Oh my god! There's no oh, rope or anything nice around. To <clears throat> there is. Oh, I'll, I'll she tie. She is going to town and be like, and then people are like, "That's the lady who owns the ostriches." I'll get a long piece of rope, tie one end to the pen, and then loop it around its neck and leave extra room out for more ostriches. All righty. <laughs> You have successfully tied up an ostrich. God, please tell me I don't have yeah. to do 49 more rolls. No. <laughs> I'm just going to make you do one more roll to continue to tie up these ostriches. <sighs> it's going to be you skill. There! Oh, skill? Yeah. I mean, we can take that athletics roll if that's how you want to do it. Uh... Yeah, because I already rolled. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right. So you successfully tie up 50 ostriches. It takes you somewhere around 30 minutes to tie up all those ostriches. I, I don't mind stress or dirty either. It don't matter. I'm assuming it's a grueling task. But I'm determined yeah. and have the endurance to do it. Yep. You didn't roll very poorly with that last roll, so I'm not going to make you take any stress. But in that 30 minute, Rain and Sujata are able to do one more task, or at least attempt to. Yeah. Uh, Sujata's going to try and set the table. Alrighty. How are you going to set the tables? Describe how they look when you're done. So, uh, it, uh, Jimmy is like a long, long banquet table. So, uh, yeah. each uh, each chair um, in front of it will have uh, uh, like a, a large plate, a smaller plate, and then a soup bowl. Um, you know, two two forks, uh, smaller to smaller inside, the larger one outside, uh, and uh, two cutlery knives, uh, and then there is like a you know like a napkin. Uh, like ornately uh, folded, like origami style, and placed in each each bowl. <clears throat> All right, if you're gonna try to fold them, I'm gonna need you to roll skill. Awesome. Uh... As you try to fold the first one, you realize that you have never dealt with napkins before because you don't eat food. Oh, yes. And then, like, uh, Sujata, like, kind of slaps her head and she's like, yes, I don't know what I'm doing. So she just takes the whole napkin and she just places it over the entire uh, plate, bowl, and cutlery that she's placed <laughs> at every uh, chair. <laughs> like, almost covering it completely. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Um, I'm going to decide what should be set on the table and what should be carried around. Oh, no, I'm going to decide who will be carrying things and when. Alrighty. So, what have we got that needs to be carried? 
Zyver, ha what have you? Well, Zyver ha or Kuroshi has uh, Kuroshi has made uh, foods, most of them being sushis. So then, so Jata is going which to say are on trays, which need to either be carried or set on this table here in the dining room. So Jata will say she will do it because she doesn't trust Rin and her blindness do not mess it up. <laughs> what else uh, needs to be carried? Anything else? Um, I will say there's probably f about five trays that either need to be carried or set on the table. Okay. You, yeah, you can do that, Sujata. And... So Sujata is going to decide what will be set on tables and what should be carried, or Sujata will be carrying things? Sujata will be carrying things. How many trays will Sujata be carrying? All of them. All five? Yes. <laughs> Sujata, I, I don't believe Rin is doing this in the garden. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had to move my character. Sujata, you are here watching Rin make this plan. <laughs> and um, Sujata's going to be like, what's wrong with you, Rin? How can I carry what? all five plates? I'm sorry, I thought you were the most amazing maid ever. Are you not up to the standards Prince uh, Mistress Diana has set for us? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can, but not with five trays. Would you be? Oh, okay. I see. So you're not that great. That's fine. I'll just reassign you to something a little bit more torture skill, I guess. Uh, that's a that's a cunning role right there. That's a cunning versus affection right there. Oh. Okay. Shit. Convection wins overall, so take nine and divide that by your stat and gain that much stress. If it goes over your spirit, you have a stress explosion. Don't forget that. Okay. So how much stress do I have? Three? Uh, four? I think four. Okay. Fine, fine. That's fine. We don't. You don't have to do that. We'll have Kuroshi do that. I'm just gonna jot down. Kuroshi carries all five. And Sudhacha just slaps her head again, and and she says, "No, Rin. Nobody can carry five. Not even you. So you carry five. Show me. Show me carrying five. Trains. I will show you. I'm gonna try to carry five of these at once." <laughs> Are you going to try to carry just five empty trays or five, five trays that have the food on them? Five trays that have the food on them. <laughs> She's going to drop what I prepared. Roll skill. Would it be athletics <laughs> to hold all of them? If you want it to be athletics, go right ahead. ahead. Died. You pick up the, you pick up two trays in each hand and put, uh, you attempt to put the final one on your head, dropping the final one on the ground. See, the not so hard. The other four, really fine though. See, not so hard. You dropped one, you fool. You I don't have wasted food now. Well, it was probably tainted with whatever crap uh, Kuroshi put in it. Anyways, I, I had no effects of it. I think you're lying. I th you didn't want to do more work. That's why you faked whatever you were faking in the garden. You know what? Diana I'm going to stand for this. walks into the entrance hall and finds... And she goes... Thank you for gathering up all the ostriches, darling. I'm going to go wait in my bedroom until things 
settle down. You do that, mistress. Ren was just on her way out to go and clean the outhouse. I'm going to start grabbing a broom, sweeping. Ren, don't forget the outhouse! Sure, you can also roll 2d6 and gain favor. Sujata, go do the outhouse, since I'm the one carrying everything. No, you dropped it, so you are going to the outhouse. Fine, I'll go to the outhouse. Goes, she goes through the walls and drops literally every tray. <laughs> now all she... the food is on the ground. Sujata's <laughs> like, oh my god, this, <laughs> this girl. And she's going to start putting... Sujata, you just have to roll 1d6. Who, Sujata? Yes. Six. You gain six stress. Yeah, because you're going to have to count all that shit when it hits the ground, that vampiric OCD. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> God forbid the grains of rice and the sushi shop are right now. <laughs> uh, 672. <laughs> are you both vampires? No, uh -huh. she is. I just, just got to remember you're a vampire. All the old folklore about them. They had OCD on counting and stuff. Yeah, if you ever encounter a vampire, you just throw a handful of rice at them. Yeah, she just, she watered the garden. The plants would probably die around <laughs> So yeah, I'm Sujata picking up every piece of sushi and checking to make sure that they're not dirty and put on the tray back. All right, then that gives Hiroshi time to sweep. So you don't even have to roll because you have plenty of time to I do don't that. know what you're talking about. I swap, sweep the mansion. You used your body and it wasn't great. <laughs> I rolled really high on that. I mean, you got dirty. So? It's probably... It's, Re-sweeping, I guess. <laughs> Fine. I didn't cross that off. I must have not noticed. And also, uh, Kiroshi, as you were sweeping, you go into the dining room where Sujata is picking up sushi. Walk in, look at her, huff out, roll out. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't do that. I didn't do this. It's the full ring, that blind ghost. She tried to carry all five of the trays and dropped them. Now I'm putting it all back together, making it look like it what like it used to, so that the guests can eat this. Realizing I made it, and the mistress will probably friggin' blame whoever for it. I'll just begrudgingly lean down and start helping Sujata. All right, while you two do that, Rin, roll willpower to even, like, bear walking into this outhouse. Okay. Especially, especially after she just... Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As you open the door, you open the door and go to take a step in, and you do not. You leave. You don't deal with that. You know what? I actually... I have a better idea since... Can I just get the hose and just spray the outhouse from the hose outside? Go this far. Oh. Hmm. All right. Fair enough. I'll just float my way back. Okay. Kiroshi and Sujata finish picking up all this sushi. Finally. And now you people can decide where where the discs are going to be going. The guests, you mean? No. The trays, because you still haven't decided oh, what's yes. being carried and what's staying on tables. So Sujata kind of looks at all the trays and the 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 sushi that that's the best. You know, it's not like it had fallen it had fallen down, right? So the sushi that looks the best, she will keep it on the table, and the rest will carry. So 
it's probably about two trays on the table and then three trays which will be going around which means everyone will have to have a tray at some point oh no and Shijata realizes that and she tells Hiroshi <laughs> like oh no this this you'll have to give a tray to Rin and she's gonna drop it all over the place as you, you turn around the Rin is there <laughs> <laughs> Kuroshi don't care. She's like, well, then she'll get embarrassed and everyone will make fun of it. And Sujata, like, Sujata is like a, a vampire and it's like all being courteous and and proper. So she will be like, oh, oh no, Rin, I didn't, I didn't mean it that way. You so meant that. And Sujata and Rin both are all 1d6. Sujata gains four stress, and Ren gains three stress. Oh shit. And like right now, like Sujata is on the, on the brink. She's like, you know, she, she's tried the, her best to be, you know, a good maid and make sure that all the work gets done. And it's this Ren who keeps coming and getting in the way and... Alrighty. So, as everything is finished, the mistress comes into the entrance hall and she goes, Everyone, the party is going to begin soon. Red floats over. Sujata comes over. One couple last minute adjustments to the tray on the table. Sigh and just, uh, yes, mistress. Now, all right, there are a few things that will be that will still need to be done while the guests are here. They will need to be entertained, they will need to be fed, and someone will have to go around with the guest list and make sure that they get all of the names of everyone who is here. We're on it, mistress. Very good. I suggest you take this next few hours to get ready. It is a masquerade, after all. Right. And then Sujata says, As you wish, mistress. And then she goes to her room to kind of prepare for the evening. Hi. a masquerade. We still have to wear maid outfits. Yep. But you wear masks. Or <laughs> wear a jade green Ani mask. Oh, man. What does everybody else's mask look like? Uh, first, Jada's going to tell Rin, Rin, get out of my room. That's this oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, my bad. <laughs> okay. He's changing, bro. Oh Jesus! Don't worry, I'm a okay. ghost. <laughs> I just you hear the cocking sounds of a bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong room, Ran. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. Okay, you just flow back and forth between the two rooms <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> You're like, fuck, where is my room? <laughs> where is my room? <laughs> Alright. I'm going to reveal all of the party guests as it is two hours later. Bam. Oh, God. The There's party so has started. Siddhartha will come in. Wait in the entrance hall for the next orders from the mistress. I'm just going to the front door automatically, assuming security detail. I'm going to get prepared for the entertainment. <clears throat> she looks to all three of you and she goes, Perhaps now that everybody's here, we can start 
bringing the food around, making sure they stay entertained. I'm on the case. No, no, you're not, Ren. I, I, yes, I'll, I am. I will take care of it. I'm going to be entertaining them. It's a jata, I kind of rush to the kitchen. As Rin walks out, Diana looks to uh, looks to Kiroshi and she goes, "This is gonna be good." We can only hope, Mistress. We can only hope. Play, play the the the, the, the bouncer part when people coming in. <laughs> There are, uh, Kiroshi, you see the four women huddled over in the corner. They're talking about things that you don't really care about, like other social functions they've been to. I'm going to wow the crowd with fire eating. Uh, roll skill. Wouldn't that be a, a, oh, I was trying to go for an athletics thing. Athletics would be like juggling chainsaws. Oh, would it? Okay. Then I'll juggle fire. Okay. And then roll athletics. Extreme fire dancing. You've juggled fire. The audience is wowed. Mm -hmm. That's right. Everyone loves fire. The mistress claps. Go ahead and roll 1d6. You gain five favor. Yeah. Karoshi's gonna try to use her brains here. She's gonna hear the old biddies gossiping. She's gonna link her way over and give them enough time to reach a pause and acknowledge her if they do. And if they do, it's gonna be something along the lines of, oh, this, um, this is Mrs. Holiday, thank you for coming. This is, um, if you may, hi, I'm checking on the list here to make sure that people get the proper thank you notes for uh, having attended. Uh, you are, and uh, they each recite their names. Did you recognize one of them? You recognize the name Masika? Masika is one of the uh, people from, like, a rival organization of your own. Rival to the holidays, or rival to me personally. Rival to your organization personally. Being an is she on? Is she on the list? She is actually on the list. Do the long, hard stare and the. Hmm. And she stares back. Nod. Very well, thank you. Make note of her. Try to keep an eye on her as I make my way around. She nods and goes, very good. And she turns back to the other ladies and she goes, as I was saying. And they continue their pointless conversation. Rin, are you just going to juggle fire forever? Oh, no, she's got other tricks up her sleeve. All right. Um, she's going to break dance. Man, that's skill again. <laughs> Is it? It's fine. I have a pretty high skill. No, I don't. That's a terrible idea. Uh, hmm. What would be entertaining that would? Oh, I know. No, that's a terrible idea. I'm blind. <laughs> hmm. That's probably a sentence that no one has ever said. That is a terrible idea. I am blind. <laughs> um, can I guess what's in people's pockets? Sure. What would that be? Probably cunning. Cool. That's what I'm going to do. Oh. <laughs> what do you guess? Um, a hamster. 
the woman shakes her head and she goes, No, I've brought my pocket watch, but that's about it. Are you sure? I don't know. Ma'am? 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 I know this is going to sound a lot, but I need you to reach out at your pocket and pull it out. She pulls out her pocket watch. Okay, so what do you see? <laughs> it still gives you a look and she goes, it's my pocket watch. Are you sure? I need you to go ahead and open up pocket open up the pocket watch. And the the woman the woman looks to Diana and Diana shakes their head. And the woman just walks away without saying anything. Ma'am, I just need you to open the pocket watch. Is she opening up the pocket watch? She's gone. Does anyone say she's yeah. gone? No, nobody says she's gone. They just let you stand there saying, open up the pocket watch over and over again. <laughs> Jason, this isn't funny. It's going to have a huge payoff. So open up the fucking pocket watch. It's magic. <laughs> yes, I was trying to pull off the magic trick. Dejada, what are you up to? I take a bio break. No, he's gone. He's back. Shady is back. Oops. Sorry, uh, I was on mute. Um, <clears throat> Sujata is uh, basically uh, she. She's just coming back from the kitchen, and she's got a tray in each hand that she's going to start uh, passing around the guests and uh, feed them sushi. You see, you're in asking no one to open a pocket watch. <laughs> so Jata is going to just look at it, smirk, and then not say anything and let Rin continue asking <laughs> As you walk past Diana, she gives you the A-OK hand. <laughs> so that just smiles and curtsies and continues it on. At the fire, you're stopped by one of the women. Uh, and so that says, the non-existent fire. <laughs> Yes, what can I do for you? Yeah, it's not really, it's not a fire. Because the fire was never set again. Oh. She stops here and she goes, per Perhaps you could light the fire pit? Oh, certainly. We arrived and it wasn't lit. It was just wet. Yes, I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry about that. Yes, uh, we do have... Uh, some difficulty with the help this evening. I will I will get that up right away. Thank you very much. And uh, Sujata is going to uh, then make her way away from them and feed the other guests and not go and light the fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Diana saw you do this, but it's she didn't wasn't able to stop you, so <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna gain four stress. <laughs> and she looks to Rin and then shakes her head, and she's gonna walk out and try to light the fire on her own. <laughs> oh shit! And probably fail. Yeah, yeah, fail. Uh, the woman behind you uh, comes up behind you, Rin, and she goes, um, she's yes. gone. Right. Uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, yes. is everyone else gone? Other than us two, they've all left the porch. Ah, okay. Did you like the fire dancing? Uh, yes. Thanks. I, I practiced a lot on that. Uh, not so much with the whole guessing thing. Maybe next time. Uh, 
Hiroshi, in the dining room. Two men are enjoying your food, talking business. Uh, same routine. Wait for the tune time, and then it's good. On behalf of Mr. Holiday, we wish to thank you for attending. Uh, I am in charge of filling out thank you notes for once everybody's returned home. I just want to make sure that your names are on the list. Can I please have them? And they give you their names. They're on the list. <laughs> thank you very and much. And, and one of them stops you and goes, And also, who prepared the food? Uh, I, I, that would be myself. I hope you found it to your liking. It is very good. <laughs> you humble me, all. sir. Does it taste at all like floor? I mean, <laughs> some people enjoy floor. Yeah. I don't know what a good varnish glaze. Specifically, <laughs> these two men enjoy floor. Seeing oh. as there's no one else. In the oh, family. dust bunny sushi. Mm. <laughs> they might also be blind. <laughs> <laughs> they have no taste buds. <laughs> Go around, go out to the front porch. It's pretty easy for you to go around and get names. And very soon the guest list is completely filled. Everybody who is supposed to arrive has arrived. Meander my way towards Diana. If she's still struggling with the fire pit. Yeah, she is. <laughs> I'll just... Oh, oh, mistress, everyone is present and accounted for. You seem to be having trouble. No, 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 please, please, allow me. Thank you very much. Sujada was supposed to do it, because she was asked to, but she has failed to. Uh, in her defense, mistress, she did do it originally. Rin extinguished it when she was watering the garden. I'm well aware. Nonetheless, let me get this up and going. Thank you very much, Kuroshi. It's pretty simple for you. I rolled anyway, because I could have been eating some crow. Yeah, I mean... That's, that's not as good as sushi, it, yeah. The roll is what made it good enough. <laughs> Look at me, setting fires, watching it with my two eyes I can see. Aren't I special? Oh. I'm Kuroshi. Oh. Pull out a cigarillo, light it down. And... <laughs> These two men who are also the fire are also smoking. Sneak off to the corner and enjoy a smoke break. <sighs> <sighs> Mr. Jada, what are you up to? Uh, oh, there you are. Hey, um, yeah, I'm still feeding the guests. I don't know, um, you know, I'm just like kind of being very harebrained right now and just feeding the guests and then like trying to feed the same thing to the same people over and over again. Yeah, as you approach this woman, you, uh, she puts out her hand and she goes, oh, no, no. And then she turns to the other woman and she goes, if you'll excuse me. She heads off down this hallway. You are quite aware that there's nothing down this hallway. So Shujata is like very intrigued. Like, what is this lady doing? Like, that's where the mistress's chamber and the and our chambers are. So there's no need for a guest to go in there. So she follows her. The mistress's bedroom door is cracked open now. And Sujata like rushes in to see like who's in there. The bed has been lifted. It doesn't look like it was lifted by hand. Okay. It was lifted mechanically, and there is a slightly ajar trap door. Oh, at that point, I'm gonna like rush back to the to the mistress. And tell her I saw one of the guests go into her bedroom. Please come with me immediately. Uh, 
Sujata, I need to stay out here and entertain the guests. Perhaps you and the other maids can go deal with it. <sighs> okay, and then Sujata kind of goes out and then she sees Rin, but she's not going to say anything to Rin first and then going to go to Karishi. <laughs> <coughs> Stamp out the cigarillo. What is it? There is there is some strange things going on in this house. A guest has gone into the mistress's bedroom. And it, oh and no! Let us investigate. Yes. And then, like as uh, Kar- Karoshi's, we are going past. Sujata says, "Ren, please follow me." And then <laughs> she'll try and like, kind of like grab at Ren and just drag her. All right. In the mistress' bedroom, you all see the ajar trapdoor, and you can hear uh, mechanical cranking coming from inside. Uh, Sujata is going to step forward, and she's a vampire, so she has like good, I'm assuming, like good dark vision. And she can see, so she's going to try and like look into the darkness and. Pull out my bazooka and have it ready. Can, what can I roll to see? That? As I'm not even gonna make you roll. Okay. As you gaze down into the darkness, you see a blonde head, and at the front of the blonde head is two uh, horns, which appear to be hollow, as if they're part of a mask. Um, so it's 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 just a mask that's inside the trapdoor, or it's like somebody's wearing the mask. No, somebody is wearing the mask. Uh, and so. And they are cr- they're cranking. The awesome. So Sujata is gonna like kind of uh, shout out to them and it's like, hey, who's there? What are you doing? And then uh, if that person turns around, Sujata is gonna use her passionate gaze to kind of. Confuse them and hold them in place. One second. Remind me what passionate gaze does again. I think with just a glance, you can ingratiate yourself with the master, taking 1d6 stress to gain 1d3 favor, or maybe. That is specifically supposed to be used on the mission. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so in that case, uh, um, hmm. I'm going to jump down on top of them, given the fact that I'm wearing armor. Uh, I'm like want to crush them by jumping on top of them. <laughs> like, Alright, it's gonna be athletics versus her cunning. Uh, my athletics or my cunning? Your athletics. Ah, okay, cool. Six. Jeez, all fives. Five, one. All right, you land on top of her. Awesome. I'm like crushing, crushing her. And uh, Jada is going to say, "Who are you? What are you doing in this house?" It's none of your business, and it's pretty obvious. No, it's not to me. What are you doing in this place? I didn't even know this place existed. Of course you didn't. But I I do. And I'm going to take all of this money and I'm going to leave. If that's okay with you. No, it's not. It's my money. 
by that Sujata was... means that she was planning to win the mistress's favor, right? So the money would, if they got married, and the money would be hers also. So. She's gonna roll cunning to try to escape your grapple. Okay. Do you wanna roll athletics to even try? No. <laughs> Alright, so as a fist face, you're going to take quite a bit because you didn't roll against it, which means you're going to take. Uh, going to take uh, probably about 15 stress as a fist meets your face and you are pushed backwards into the wall. Okay, so I'm already at 19 stress, so that puts me at... Yep, which means... 34. You are over your max, which means you go into your stress explosion. Uh, it says binge over here. So can I, given that I'm a vampire, try and binge on this bitch and drink all her blood? You can try. Isn't that like an auto? Like that? Oh, how does the binge work? Like, it just means that you can't make any action. Not it. awesome. So then I'm just gonna keep trying to go for her neck and drink her blood. What are the other two maids going to try to do? Okay, I can hear a scuffle. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm gonna punch somebody with my surprised attack. Alrighty. Weapon Go from, ahead and weapon from roll nowhere to athletic. strike Masika. Alright, you deal. Just jump down and punch her in the face. <laughs> Pick out! They're Corrosion. down below. Yeah, all three of us yeah. can, all four of us can fit down. There's um, actually a part of the map that I can. Uh, yeah, because my first thoughts was whip out the bazooka and have it pointed at whoever's coming. But if they're all down to a fight, creep to the edge with a bazooka over my shoulder like I'm just straight down. If I recognize Masika, I'll immediately leap down with it, using it as like a, uh, it'd be like planting a shovel into the ground on the bazooka, like grab the, the, the cup of the arrow part, the handle, and just drive the bazooka, the edge of the outer part, onto her. Go, not on our watch! Want to use a weapon from nowhere? Uh, yeah, I was already triggering that as soon as we went, ran to the room. Instead of shooting the bazooka, I'm just gonna like do like an athletic leap. Just like, ah, ah, ah. All right, roll athletics. Well, geez. With that, she will. Uh, along with the, I'll be back. The demon clan is waiting. God. Did she ninja disappear on us, or...? I, I, I said that yep, in character. She ninja, ninja disappeared. Goddamn ninjas! <laughs> Jump back. Shocked and surprised. Oh, then see Shajada over there probably gnashing away still. <laughs> Point the bazooka at her. <laughs> Sujana, Sujana, what's wrong with you? And I'll say, uh, and and I can't. I'm trying. You can see. I'm trying to say something, but like I can, I can barely. I just can't get over the the binge and just keep trying to go for her jugular. 
Oh, the chick ninja disappeared. Oh, shit. Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, I, I conked her on the top of the head. When my... So then, am I still, what am I still binging on? Nothing right now. You just, you just binge the only action. Oh, binge. cool. Okay. Does she disappear with the money? <laughs> <laughs> nah, she just disappears. Okay. Oh, shit. Then, uh... Have we been down here before? You said we don't know anything about this spot? No, you didn't know anything about this. I'm sure I've been down here before, I just didn't realize. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm gonna try a little cutting here. Just be like, nobody touch anything! This is the mistress's private chamber! It's everybody to the top! Sujata! Or who, or someone, Ren, you let the mistress know what's going on. I'll stay right. here, make sure she doesn't return. Okay, I'll do that. She flies into the vault. So Jata will uh, try and do some maybe investigation before heading out to see if she can learn anything more about that masked person. A roll skill. Or cunning. One or the other. Uh, uh, cunning. Oh. Nope. And Sujata is going to uh, head back up to the mistress's bedroom, waiting for the mistress to arrive and let her know what happened. Roll scale. Me? Yes. It's set. It's probably it's not the greatest, but it's set. Okay. So Jenna, you hear the ring of a spoon on a glass. Oh, it's like as if somebody's making a toast. Correct? It's probably more the ministers. Yeah, so I'm going to like go out and see where she is because Rin was supposed to go get her. I flew to the vault by accident. Oh, sure. <laughs> then Sujata's gonna say, Mistress, Mistress, something bad has happened. You need to you need to come with me right now. Did you guys get that? I got that. Okay. Yeah. So the mistress goes, oh, it's... all right, I guess I, you three are the only ones that need to. Oh, it cut out. What is that? You, you three are the only ones? Who have to hear the announcement anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. And then Sujata is going to lead her to her bedroom. And then to the basement. And show her the empty vault. And say, uh. No, this... the vault is still intact. Mm -hmm. What's inside it? Hey, you wouldn't <laughs> know, you're blind. I could feel around. Probably money. Oh. And then uh, Sujata is going to explain this this person with golden hair and a devilish looking mask was in here. She had nice cheekbones. <sighs> then looks like we'll have to up.
we'll have to what? It's cutting out bad. Oh. Yeah. Then we'll have to up security. In the meantime, I've picked which one of you I'm going to marry. Oh, tell us now. Tell us now. Actually, you're going to tell me who here has the... Huh? Who here has the what? I has has the most favor. I have a 24. Jesus Christ, I have nine. 24? No, I don't have that much for sure. I have nine. Uh, hold on. Ten. Kuroshi will be able to protect me if anything. So I pick Kuroshi. Mm, you honor me, mistress. So... I guarantee no one else will harm Except for you. Yeah. <laughs> because that night she because that night the mistress mysteriously dies in an explosion. <laughs> Whoops. Oh man, I was supposed to kill her, says Brynn. <laughs> the mission ladder's per ladder's perfect because the trap door is right underneath her bed. No <laughs> one like I'm gonna hide a bomb here. I'm like a Well then. And that's it, Zypher. Did nobody use the outhouse? No. That was the one major bad thing about it. So should I well, stop? Other than, the chick, other than the chick dying, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Zypher. Stop the recording? Cool.